Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to update your fixture library. And it's not uncommon uh, sometimes when you update your version of your EOS version that the library doesn't upgrade with you. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And so we'll go through the steps on how to do that. And before we do that, just as a reminder, when you're looking at the release notes when you updated, um, you should always read through these, even skim through it at the very least, ideally read the whole thing. It does cover how to do the fixture library updates um, and they can be uh, released independently as well, uh, but it includes a link. So it's uh, fixture-library-hub.etc.com. So you can just click on that and we'll open up a window with it. And so in here, you can see the latest stable version is 3.2.8.15. And going back into ETC, we're at 32812, so we are behind. Uh, and it does not look like they've updated the 329 yet library. Um, and so it says to download the full library uh, for this platform, click here. So I will click that and it will begin downloading. Also to show you just another way to get to the same place, uh, we'll go to our favorite search engine here. A couple options, you can do ETC EOS, Home is where you can go for a lot of resources. And in here you'll th find things like the manual, the knowledge base, and uh, under software and downloads, you'll see the latest version library, um, including the libraries here. So I can click on that. And then when this comes up, you'll scroll down. When we go to libraries here, you'll see 32815 as well. So you can download it from either location. Um, it does include here, a little document about what's been changed, which is really nice. And it goes through the instructions on how to do it. But I'll scroll down here and it shows you what's been added. So those fixtures have been added and these have been updated. So if the fixtures you're using don't show up on this list, the, the requirement or need to update it is kind of up to you on how important that is. But based off of this, none of the fixtures I'm using currently are any of these. So it's less critical for me. Um, this shows you what was previously added as well. So if you're a few versions behind, you can look through this more extensive list and see, oh, right, I've got these Roby uh, Robin i2. 12 profiles, so maybe I might want to download the latest if I don't have those already. In here is instructions on how to do it on a physical console. We're going to do it with an Nomad, uh, but here it talks about inserting a USB device, opening up the EOS configuration utility known as the shell, and then we'll walk through these steps as far as getting that updated. So we'll go ahead and do that now. I'll hop into EOS itself. And what I'll do here is we will go ahead and with a Nomad here, we'll exit out to the shell. And so here I'm going to click on settings and that's what you see here. So we're going to go exit into settings from here on the general tab. We'll go to the software update dialog down here and then it's not going to find any in our default location. I'm going to click on other, but if you inserted a USB drive on the console, it would show that up from here. I'm going to go ahead and go under my downloads folder. And right here, you'll see the fixture library of 32815. So I'll click open. And then you'll get this dialog that comes up. Are you sure you want to install EOS support files? And we'll click yes. And we'll drag this over so you can see it here on the screen. It's going to go through the process. And at the end, you'll see extraction completed successfully. I'll click close. I'll click accept on this dialog. And then on the launching screen here, I'll go back into offline mode. Once it launches up, you'll see here that we're now on version 3.2.15.5. If you're on Nomad, you can press Y, which is about, and that brings up the screen here. So if you're on a console, I'll pop up the virtual keyboard here, and under here you'll see the about button right there, which is, you see Y there, which is what we pressed on the keyboard. Um, but this gives you an idea of where to find it on the newer consoles like the Apex. Um, I think it's roughly in the same location on the programming wing and the newer XE ions. Um, but depending on the age of your hardware, it might be in a slightly different location. But I'll click about and you'll see that that pops up as well. And that is how you update the fixture library in ETC EOS.